Amen. And with your spirit. Welcome everyone who celebrates uh, Marriage of Courage Mass on this Sunday of the 12th uh, in ordinary time. Uh, as you can see today, we are in the community chapel of the Passionists. Um, and uh, uh, the group that has led us beautifully here for us so that we can enjoy this Mass. You're supposed to see me without me having to smile. So we gathered together for uh, this celebration. Here we have lots of different priests of the Holy Spirit joining us and who will be talking to our hearts today. As we gather together, let us be mindful of the week that we brought and announce ourselves afresh. Uh, what prayer do we bring today to the Lord? What concerns do we have? And also, what things do we have to thank God for all the things that we pray to God? In terms of concerns and prayers, uh, there's two specific prayers that I would like to bring to this uh, mass. People have requested their prayers. So first is um, Frank. Um, Frank, I'll check the name. Uh, Joseph Barra, uh, Joseph Barra is uh, unwell, and also uh, Maria Kula will be undergoing the mass surgery. So uh, we'll keep them in our prayers, but also pray for God will continue their mass and we will ask for prayer for us. And we will pray, I'm grateful to our uh, father, um, Kevin Twitty, who had a, a surgery that was successful with a more strong so let us combine all these uh, things, gifts that we brought to God and be mindful of His kindness and mercy despite all the changes that happen in the world to go back. We are saying to you in the comfort of our Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Amen.
us pray. Let us pray. Grant our Lord that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never depart of your guidance, those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear so many disparaging me, terror from every side. Denounce him, let us denounce him. All those who used to be my friends watched for my downfall. Perhaps he will be seduced into error. Then we will master him and take our revenge. But the Lord is at my side a mighty hero. My opponents will stumble, mastered, confounded by their failure. Everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. But you, Lord of hosts, you who probe with justice, who scrutinize the loins and heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil men. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my own mother's sons. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against you fall on me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. This is my prayer to you, my prayer for your favor. In your great love, answer me, O God, with your help that never fails. Lord, answer, for your love is kind. In your compassion, turn towards me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God-seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy and does not spurn his servants in their chains. Let the heavens and the earth give him praise, the sea and all its living creatures. Lord, in your great love, answer me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, sin entered the world through one man, and through sin, death. And thus, death has spread through the whole human race, because everyone has sinned. Sin existed in the world long before the law was given. There was no law and no one could be accused of the sin of law-breaking. Yet death reigned over all, from Adam to Moses, even though their sin, unlike that of Adam, was not a matter of breaking a law. 
Adam prefigured the one to come, but the gift itself considerably outlaid fall, outweighed the fall. If it is certain that through one man's fall so many died, it is even more certain that divine grace, coming through the one man, Jesus Christ, came to so many as an abundant free gift. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. Do not be afraid. For everything that is now covered will be uncovered, and everything now hidden will be made clear. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the daylight. What you hear in whispers, proclaim from the housetops. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but can kill the soul. Fear him, rather, who can destroy both body and soul in hell. Can you not buy two sparrows for a penny? And yet, not one falls to the ground without your father knowing. Why, every hair on your head has been counted. So there is no need to be afraid. You are worth more than hundreds of sparrows. So if anyone declares himself for me in the presence of men, I will declare myself for him in the presence of my Father in heaven. But the ones who disown me in the presence of men, I will will disown in the presence of my Father in heaven. This is the gospel of the Lord. I'd like to first start by thanking Father Eric in the Passionist community, in the Passionist Father, for allowing me to celebrate here in this most beautiful sacred space, their chapel. And this is one of the changes that I wasn't aware of before I even arrived today. And there's one thing that we hear over and over again is the spirit telling us a great change is about to take place, whether we recognize it or not a great change is taking place. Each one of us is being asked, where do we stand with the changes that we face in our world today? Changes like climate change, the pandemic, high unemployment rates, destruction of sacred indigenous sites in our country, 
and be separated from our church. Like today, we're in this beautiful chapel, but we're not with our community here physically present, but spiritually out there. So we're being asked today, where do we stand in society with our families? Where do we stand in our church and with Jesus? Our answer is simple. Let us first look to our gospel reading today for the answers. Today's gospel reading from Matthew is telling each and every one of us where we should stand. And when you have an answer, don't be afraid. We need to recognize how these issues can be solved. We need to stand with Jesus and recognize him in those around us. Thomas Merton, the Trappist monk, tells us, equality is a balance of love in the divine. Equality recognizes the common good in others. Black lives matter. If we live in the spirit of Jesus Christ, then the color of our skin is not seen. But what we see is the same love that is on the inside of each person, made in the image and likeness of God. This is declaring our love for Jesus, as this is recognizing the same divine Jesus in others. Equality. The equality of the divine Jesus, recently witnessed, shining between two young girls. I'm not sure if you've heard or seen this narrative, but it was two young schoolgirls in about year four. They hadn't seen each other for quite a few months because their school was closed and because of the COVID. But both mothers agreed it was time for them to reunite their friendship. So one mother drove the other mother to her daughter's friend's house. Now that's when the joy and the love started, when they saw each other Streams of tears of joy were rushing down their cheeks. These two little girls had no boundaries. It was just love. And how beautiful was this? A little black girl and a little white girl. They were there for each other. They weren't so concerned with what was on the outside, but what was on the inside. Equality of the divine Jesus within. So you could say the equality of the divine Jesus was shared between the two little girls. Jesus the divine started to shine in their smiles and in their joy. This change is the balance of equality, recognizing Jesus in ourselves and in others. And this is what Thomas Merton was saying, equality. Do we recognize it? Do we recognize Jesus divine in each other? More than ever today, now is the time to speak up. We can't hide from Jesus when we realize that Jesus, the divine, is within us. This is an abundant free gift. This is the divine grace of Jesus that we hear from our second reading today from Romans. Brothers and sisters, we must realize the equality of Jesus divine is the change that is taking place in our world through the Holy Spirit. And our challenge today is to start looking at others, not looking at the color of their skin, but looking at their soul to see the divine Jesus within. So I ask you to take it up and to go, to go out and look for that divine in that other person and live Jesus 
in our hearts as we pray at the foot of the cross. Amen. Thanks for the living God, the Father Almighty, and in Jesus Christ, our only Son, Lord, was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and the was buried, ascended into heaven, and so he rose again from the dead. He has said that from heaven, and he has seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the dead, and life everlasting. We now bring our prayers before God, the prayers that we thought of as we began the Mass, and the prayers that are still there for the present purposes, and the prayers that now we present in prayer. Dear brothers and sisters, gather to celebrate the divine Mass. We have received from our God without asking to prompt, to prompt us in us prayers that are worthy of true life. We pray for the church called to be alive with divine grace, that it will bring hope to fearful and broken hearts through the good works of charity. We pray to the Lord. We pray at the end of World Refugee Week with its theme of welcome that putting aside fear of the other, we will see in every refugee a sister or brother deserving of our respect and embrace. We pray to the Lord. We pray in the midst of racial tensions across the world that commitment to reconciliation will dissolve the power of fear and help all to live in harmony. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you are good. We pray in the midst of the fear generated by the COVID pandemic, the gentle face of Jesus in every healthcare worker, that their dedication and courage will lift the spirits of all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. We pray for the African nations of Nigeria, Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Mali and Ivory Coast where fear is escalating as terrorism and violence spills across borders, that diplomacy through the United Nations will bring a true and lasting peace. We pray to the Lord. We pray that the sick, that they will find comfort in the presence of God through the people around them, especially Bob Bain, Elizabeth Yashhadahana, Helen Ede, Sister Mari Christine Fontanilla, Winifreda Jauco, Peter Ling, Geoffrey Leesk, Giuseppe Paranetto, Kenneth McRae, Maureen McRae. We pray to the Lord. Lord For the Lord. recently deceased, especially Mari Hart, George Rejo, Luigi Miola and Antonio Fredi and the faithful departed that they will see God face to face in the kingdom prepared for them. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our We pray for our own personal intention. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the petitions of your church be pleased, be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be still, be still, and know that I am your God. Be still, be still, and know that I am with you. sick sacrifice in your hands. Praise the glory of his name for our good and the good all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offerings of a heart pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of a virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people who stretched out his hand as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the end of the Lord the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we proclaim. Holy, 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 God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In 
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of love and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one body. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis Dunford, Anthony and Bishop, all the clergy, religious, and open churches. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died. Welcome them into the life of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her husband, through the Blessed Apostle, Saint Paul of the Cross, Saint Mary Magdalene, Saint Bridget, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit before us eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the church is commanded and formed by divine teaching to be there and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our things, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. To live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 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 You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are thou called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should injure unto my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. You shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you If you pass through raging waters, in the sea you shall not drown. If you walk amid the burning flames, you shall not be harmed. If you stand before the power of hell, and death is at your side, know that I am with you through it all. The kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are you that weep and mourn, for one day you shall laugh. And wicked men insult and hate you all because of me. Blessed, blessed are you. I go before you always, come follow me, and I will give you rest. and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with confidence in your worship may be our true pledge of repentance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you to Deacon Priest for your last homily, for talking and speaking to our hearts. Thank you, Father Gilbert, for making it it's very, very clear, and I hope you understand the words as well. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we give thanks to Father Gilbert. It worked all day, actually, all no. day, just one day. We should post some of those photos so they can see what's here. <laughs> then behind the scenes, it's a lot of work. So, uh, also, I'm grateful of all of you there who are really still reading uh, either from home or come to church here at home and uh, singing is beautiful. So we're very, very grateful that you contributed that. So thank you for making our mass uh, continuing in a very good way. So still uh, very nourishing. So conscious of the fact that we're coming to the end of the mass, 
that are big countries in European are need now for the next three. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Let's